Hello everyone, welcome back to more Elden Ring video. And today I'm going to show you my level 150 flame burst build that focus on the use of the flaming strike skill. So flame burst is a great sword that scale primary with strength and dexterity. What I like about this weapon, it can be infused with as of war and can cause bloodless build up to the enemy. And also it has a very unique design. As you can see here, it's very, very fancy for me. And if you notice that, uh, Jared also used this weapon as his main weapon in the game. However, this weapon have a pretty standard in rank and also have a moderate in terms of damage. I like to infuse this weapon with flaming strike and choose fire as main weapon affinity. With this skill, you will emit flame, then follow up with a strong sweeping attack. This skill will coat your weapon with fire. The buff lasts for 40 seconds and add 90 flat fire damage to the weapon. So using item that can increase your fire attack power is highly recommended. There is an talisman that I can use to increase my attack power. First, I have fire scorpion charm that can raise my fire attack power. Next, we have shard of Alexander. Another one is Dragon Chris, Great Shield, and last but not least, we have a Dagger Talisman that can enhance my critical hits. And for armor, I like to wear eccentric armor set because I want to match with Jaren cosplay. However, you can wear anything you want, and I highly recommend you to wear uh, an armor that have a really high poise and also uh, physical defense. And for helm, I like to wear white mask to slightly increase my attack power when blood loss occurs in the vicinity. And for status, I like to invest more in fight, so I have 88 in fight. And for buff, as always, I like to use a golden foul and black flame protection to increase my physical defense up to 30%. And I also use Crystal Tears to temporarily boost my status. I have Opaline Heart Tear and also we have Flame Shrouding Character Tear to temporarily boost my fire attack power. So basically this build is some kind of fire element in it. So I can increase my attack power when I using fire element in my character. Alright, so basically the way this build works is first I need to consume Crystal Tears. And then cast golden foul and then black flame protection to buff my character it's dealing with the first boss all right What the hell? Alright. Nice. Um. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Almost there. Not bad. Alright, Morgoth, the Omen King. Attack this. Jump attack. Nice. Yeah, actually having a uh, voice is also highly recommend. As you can see, my attack is consistently get flinched when the boss attacking me. Alright, next dealing with the fire giant. Oops. Alright. Like this. Char attack. Nice. 
Was? Leider. Tak, der ist... Was? Waff. Tschüss. Oh. Run, run, Peter. What? Was? Tak des. Tam. Ups, kan berang air. Like this. Okay. One down. Yes. Another one. Tiger Come Jump attack Yes Yeah, actually using sleeping pot is Can make this battle more easy Than dealing with two god skin duo Jump attack, nice. Like this. Oops. Done. Alright. Jump attack. Alright. Not bad. Can we you? All right, nice. Tag this. Um. Oh, it's so far. Nice. Um, that was a really tight battle here. So basically so far this weapon is pretty good, especially when dealing with 
low level and until middle level boss and since I need more armor especially especially when I dealing with code skin duo that's why I using sleeping pot to make my battle to be more easy yeah if you want to dealing with high level enemy I highly recommend you to using high level armor and also using a bulko talisman also really help to make your attack cannot be interrupted and in terms of ring I think this weapon is a pretty standard and also yeah it have a pretty cool design in my opinion that's why I infuse I like to infuse it with fire affinity to to match with the style and for the location you ca you can get this weapon at the Redman Castle, yeah, it's pretty easy to find. To stand before the Elven Ring, to become a to serve the I commend your spirit, but alas, Queen Marika is our Elven. We continue to serve. Okay, that was terrifying. Yeah, definitely. I think I could voice is really high, highly recommend. Right, here we go. Tag this. Oops. Oh, damn. Tactics. Oh, that's pretty far. Oh, damn. Not ready for that. Oh, nice! Hell yeah! Oops! Easy boy. Oh, nice! Yes! Boom! Stagger. Oh. Dark attack. Alright, nice. Oh, damn. Nice. Thank this. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Damn. Six thousand damage. Was overpowered. Yeah.
Yeah, definitely. Uh, this one is really good to stagger the enemy. Now, so combining with the Kratalisman, it can create a large amount of voice damage. Okay, I think that's all for the Flame Bird build. And thank you again for watching. And see you again on my next Elden Ring build video.